special guest. It Michael is. Walters, Elevators and Roblox, and more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you are so. Take a minute. Take a minute. Take a This is going to be my first ever Wear FM video on my new phone. The first train was unexpected, so I had to quickly get my camera out and get it started. But I managed to catch the two locomotives and the horn. CN's Dash 9 slash G4 locomotive, 2604 with a nice K3L horn, and 2882 was leading this northbound in the motor train. This train has 160 intermodal cars on it, which is pretty long for two locomotives to pull. Already, we have a northbound train coming. And we have burnt. And there goes. That was definitely unexpected.
great way to test out my new phone because recently I got in, got in it, you can see. And now I can zoom in more better. So I decided to test it out here. So yeah. So fast basically fits in the motor train. We are going to, next we are going to be going up to Sephir for the next day. So I'm going to pause it now until we see the next one. The next day, we went to Sephir. And here we saw another unexpected freight train when I was parked. CN's camera locomotive, which was former BC Rail, 4647 with a really nice P5 horn, and 4618 was leading this southbound intermodal train. This train has 136 intermodal cars on it. But it all gets shorter in the next few trains. Alrighty, here we go. Here comes the first train of the day at Sepper Road. Like I just got here and I saw the light. Some P5. And there it goes going through Yorkton line. Michael's supposed to come and see this, but however, he was too late of getting here, so he... Wow, that was an awesome turn. Like, wow. And I think these were former BC rail locomotives, because I saw 
beefy rail on the bottom of it. Like, wow. Awesome P5. Like, wow. That's definitely perfect timing. I just got into the crossing and I saw the light and I got on my camera just in time and I saw this into motor train. Like, wow. That's definitely unexpected. So, yeah. Hopefully there'll be something else coming because Michael Waters, Elfrido's Roblox and more are supposed to be here waiting to see some more trains. So there's the first one, so too bad he didn't he missed that. So yeah, I'm gonna pause it for now until the next train comes. So see you then. This is actually not my first time seeing this locomotive. Remember this train we saw last year at Pine Orchard? Well, 3647 was actually the first engine in this train you can see here so this is basically not my first time seeing this locomotive awesome p5 already here comes train number two the second train of the day, and it looks like it's pulling a mixed train. So yeah. So leading this mixed train was CN's Dash 9 slash SD75I locomotives was 2678 and 5646. This train has 115 freight cars on it, which was much less than the other intermodal trains that I saw before.
Well, if I was a really short train, I heard from her going through one of the crossings up there, maybe through Queensville. So that train was not really that long compared to the other in the motor train that came before this. So yeah, I'm going to pause it now until the next one comes. Forgot to mention, if you were wondering how long we waited for these trains, we waited for 15 to 20 minutes for each train to come. Reading this in the motor train was CN's G4 locomotive 3256. Surprisingly, there's no DPU in this train. This train has 85 intermodal cars on it, which is the shortest train of the day. 3256 has a really wonderful K5HL horn, and in fact, this is the only K5HL horn we have we heard today. And this is the only G4 locomotive too. Oh wait, here comes train number the third train of the day. Wow, that was really short. We have a single locomotive pulling an intermodal train, like wow. Like wow, I thought it was going to be much longer. This has to be one of the shortest trains I've ever seen today, compared to the other two. So yeah, I'm going to pause it for now until the next one comes. What happened next? was we went over to York Dome Line because we decided to see, try to see some trains there. But the signals were read both directions and nothing came. After waiting for an hour, the northbound signal changed to green. So it tells us that there was a northbound train coming. But however, I couldn't film it because I didn't have time to see that train. I did see it, but however, during that time, I was driving, so it was too late to pull over and film. But either way, I would not pull over. The great news is that Michael Waters' elevator swap blocks in Mer managed to film three more trains at the York Dome Line crossing. If you want to check out the three trains he saw, check out his recent Rail Fan video in Sefer with me. But before we end this video, here's a rail truck getting onto the train tracks. This was taken a few days ago.
And there you have it. That's all the trains I saw during my trip to Sefer and the one I saw at Maribert. Please make sure you go subscribe to Mike Waters' elevator swap vlogs and merch, as he's seen two out of the four trains I saw. I think my filming has really improved with my new phone, like I can zoom in more often compared to than before, my quality is much better, and hopefully there will be more videos on my new phone in the future. Thank you so much for watching as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And that will be it as always.